welcome to Ron Crouch's studio for the first ever virtual studio tour. So look at a little bit of work done during the coronavirus shutdown. See you inside. So, hi everybody, this is me, Ron. A uh, little word about most of these that I'm going to pull out are works on paper. I usually will prime uh, the paper with the acrylic gesso and then tack it to the wall and then paint on the wall and then uh, go from there. Let me go ahead and uh, start showing you some of these. Now for some actual pieces. Uh, to start with, here's a small drawing of Baxter. It's a uh, pencil on charcoal paper. And there's O'Malley. This is something I did real quickly the other day. It's very simple. So I was looking at it, uh, was interested in just more of the shapes uh, than the actual cats themselves. So I'm kind of channeling my inner Milton Avery. There's my youngest son's cat, looking rather dour. Finally, one more uh, Baxter. These are all, these small pieces are for the most part all uh, 9 by 12 and are done on uh, primed watercolor paper. Then, uh, a couple of little still lifes. I did this the other day. This is actually the studio, and that's the area that I work from. So you'll see paintbrushes and the like, stereo speaker. And then the bar area in my utility room. A little still life. Some slightly larger pieces. O'Malley again. These are somewhere in the vicinity of, uh, let's call it 11 by 14. That's kind of a standard size. And then one of the pair. I was cleaning up the other day, I found an old uh, watercolor pad that I'd bought when I was in graduate school that I'd used about half of, so I uh, peeled that apart and ended up priming some uh, paper and did some little paintings that are on that. Most of them are 18 by 24. This one is, I think, 18 by 22 or 23 because there was a bad edge, which I ended up cutting off, but anyway, the two sleeping cats. Another piece of the two sleeping cats. Uh, this one, I'm kind of getting a little bit more into the, um, the bedding aspect of it. I really like painting bedding and drapes and folded cloth, and so this kind of gave me a chance to do some of that, as did this one. This one, the cats are almost of secondary importance to what's going on with the folds and the, uh, the bedding. And let's see, now to finish up a couple of small, or sort of slightly larger pieces. So, did this one the other day, and I started out, as I usually do, with sort of a dark-toned uh, underpainting, which I then build on top of. So this is the second version of this piece that I did. The first version, I decided that I liked the underpainting so well that I just decided to stop at that and call that one done and uh, do a second version of it. And this is actually, the, this is the first version of it, which is just 
the underpainting and you can see maybe you can see why I decided that that was all it really needed to be anyway I was really pleased with that there's a cat painting with drapes or bedding rather um, this is O'Malley this piece was accepted in a show this spring which because of the coronavirus uh, pandemic they postponed the show and then I think later they decided that uh, what they would do is do the show as a virtual show so that's this will hopefully be shown online uh, when they organize that but until then here's your first chance to see it and finally This is, again, my son's two cats, Larry and Jefferson. Curiously enough, I did a painting previously. Uh, I got to looking at it, I got to looking at it after I'd done this one, and I realized that the cats are in exactly the same position in both poses it's just I had moved my vantage point so uh, so here's Larry and Jefferson and here they are here is here is this cat here is this cat and you can see again they're just the the they're un they've not moved it's just the point of view that I did when I shot it changed so this is this is that that piece I think this is not guess it's 12 by 24 I've been doing a lot of pieces lately that are sort of a two to one ratio, 10 by 20, 18 by 36, 12 by 24. That's about all I've got to show. Anyway, if you like this, uh, let me know and I'll do it again and maybe pull some of the pieces out, uh, both old and new, and uh, post them and uh, talk about them a little bit. Um, let me know in the comments if you found this at all interesting. If not, I'll never do it again. If, if you do like it, maybe I'll do it again sometime. Anyway, y'all take care. Uh, have a great rest of the week. Remember to keep your hands washed and uh, stay safe. Take care.